Apart from challenges such as power deficit, Zambia's energy sector is yet to overcome another hurdle involving ZESCO and Copper Belt Energy Corporation. The strategic power utility says it has failed to negotiate a bulk power supply agreement that has been running for over 20 years with the Copper Belt Energy Corporation. Appended in 1997, the agreement will be expiring today at midnight and prior engagement by both parties to charter a mutual business future has proved futile as they are not able to agree on tariffs. According to Energy Minister Matthew Nkua, Zesco proposed a one-year agreement within which both parties will negotiate mutual benefit terms, but CEC declined with the proposal of 15-year tenure. While government's rationale may be to wait until the cost of service study is done, CEC's position is somewhat justifiable as longevity is conducive for long-term planning for businesses. Despite the deadlock, Minister of Energy Matthew Nkua says Zesco will continue supplying power to the mines. Therefore, government do not allow any threats to the continuity of reliable power supply on the copper belt. I think I'd like to repeat this thing. Therefore, government do not allow any threats to the continuity of reliable power supply on the copper belt. While Zesco has the law on its side, CEC has the infrastructure whose estimate worth is $500 million, revenue that Zesco cannot match as evidenced by the utility's struggle to import power from ESCOM. It is clear that these companies share a symbiotic relationship and their mutual existence is critical to Zambia's economy and failure to agree will result in massive job losses. We remind both parties that a preconceived mind is a recipe for failed negotiations while at it, it would be interesting to know what the monakatwe led committee contributed to this felt process. Diamond TV News, Wenson Mavor. We will not allow that. That I can assure you, it won't be allowed. Government is not going to sit back and allow any acts of sabotage.